Hi guys and welcome to Paint with Mark. My name is Mark Terrell and I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful picture today of a boat and a nice reflection. So I'll try and get it up on the screen for you um, so you can see what we're doing but it's just a nice little one boat and a nice reflection in the water. But before I do that I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me as I'm doing one thing for you is just to like, subscribe and to comment below because that really does help my channel and I really do appreciate that. So the brushes that I'm going to be using today are just going to be a selection of cheap brushes. Um, I've got a, a one inch flat brush. I've got a half inch flat brush. I've got a, a rigger brush, liner brush. A little round brush, very small sort of round brush. And I've got a quarter of an inch flat brush as well. And that should be all the ones we're going to use. I've got my little pot of odorless thinner with a little gauze in there just to wipe the brush a little tiny bit. And I've got my liquid wet. And the colours we're going to be using today are I've got black, okay, I've got phalo blue, I've got red hue, I've got yellow ochre. I've got Van Dyke Brown, I've got Alizarin Crimson, and Titanium White. Um, so those should be all the colours we're going to use. Uh, I will pop it below so you, so you know what I'm using. So guys, first thing I've done is I've just roughly sketched out an outline on here. And hopefully you can see that. Roughly just here. So I've just literally just with a bit of pencil, I've just got this and I've just drawn that on the canvas roughly just just in pen just in pen now when I apply a coat of liquid white it's going to go over the top of this and it's going to cover it and you should hopefully just see uh, a faint outline behind it so good just to give me a rough guidance but most of it I'll probably go over anyway so let's get started guys so get your tools get your brushes uh, again this is a, a cheap set of brushes um, from in, it, in uh, the UK is called uh, I think it was the works I think was something like I think they're about two pound fifty probably about four dollars something like that that's all you need in this this paint um, picture so let's get going guys so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my liquid white and I'm going to use the the big inch flat brush. And literally, same as before, if you've followed any of my tutorials before, I'm just going to do crisscross strokes over the whole canvas, just literally backwards and forwards. And all we're trying to do here is just get a nice, even layer of liquid white, just to make the canvas nice and slippery and slick. So basically, I'm just putting it on, I'm just doing this really quick, I'm not too fussed about it. I like to sort of dab it here and there on the canvas and then just go over. This is a um, 16 by 12 pre-stretched canvas. Um, it's not expensive canvas, it's a nice easy canvas to work with. Some of the cheaper ones you find that the paints dry really quick on there. So a little bit more. I'm not going to have a picture yet, I'm going to go around the picture for a second. I'm just trying to get this on. And all I try to do is just scrub this into the grain. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not to hold the canvas. Just to make sure it's just got a nice even coat. And then as I come to my picture, I just lightly just scrub over the picture. Left and right. And I'm going to go left and right. Up and down and across. And then what I like to do is get some kitchen roll. And I'm just gonna very lightly wipe the canvas. Just to remove any excess if you put too much on. And then I'm gonna squeeze my brush in here to remove excess paint. I tend to try not to use too much thinners if possible um, because thinner 
you know, can distort a picture if you put too much on. Okay, guys. Now, so this thing we're going to do, we're going to do the sky. And we've got this lovely sort of soft purpley colour, pinky purpley. So I'm going to use a, a little a little brush, a half inch brush. I'm just going to mix a little bit of colour up. So basically to get a nice sort of purpley colour, we're going to get some of the red, put it down here, a touch of blue, and I'm going to mix that in. Okay, add that together. Add in the blue slowly. And then I'm going to go into a bit of white, put a bit of white, put that in there. And as you can see, hopefully you can see on there, we're getting a nice light purpley colour. So we've got a purpley colour in there. And I'm going to come up to the top here. And I'm just literally the same thing again. I'm just going to do crisscross strokes. Put in the paint. We'll do like a little faint line right across the top here. This purple. Bring the purple down a little bit. And we're just going to flick this in a bit darker in the corner there. Just pulling it across. And literally just pulling it from the side. So come down to about there. Now it's going to mix in with the, with the liquid white, which is fine, but really just at this stage, I just want to get a little bit of colour on there. That will do. So I do nicely, and I'm just going to wipe my brush. I'm going a little bit of tissue paper. I'm just going to squeeze that in there, just to get rid of most of the colour. Okay, so now I'm going to go into sort of, it's a sort of light colour. Um, we've got a nice pinky. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the red hue. I'm just going to get a bit of the red hue, put that down there. Bit more, and I'll get some white and add that to it. So a nice pinky, very light at this stage. And I'm going to pull that in from this side. So I'm literally going to come from this side underneath the colour. I'm not blending yet, I'm just pulling it in together. So we get a nice sort of pinky this side, and I'm just going to run this underneath this purple colour, pull it one way and the other way. Just so it's a nice pink, a couple of rows like that, it's about I don't know, an inch, something like that, roughly. Then I'm going to add a little bit more red into this pinky colour, just to make it a little bit darker. Not, not too much, but we just want to make it a bit more striking. Add a bit more. That's a bit better, so it's nice. About there, just up to the top of the boat. I just pull it across like this. Put some more from this side. A bit dark. Hopefully you can see that um, on your uh, on the video there. Hopefully it's showing through. I'll just put it from the side. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. So we just sort of basically got the colour on. That's all we're trying to do at this stage, right? And now I'm going to blend. So I'm just going to put my brush down, go back to the bigger brush, the, again, flat brush. I'm just going to do crisscross strokes very lightly over this. I'm going to work down and then work upwards from the down very lightly, crisscross strokes into the colour first, and then as it meets, very lightly, take them together just to lose the line where they start and finish. A nice edge and then I'll go backwards and forwards. So it blends into to one nicely. So you've got a nice sort of contrast from the darker down into the sort of pinky colour. And now I'm going to wipe my brush again. Just wipe this brush. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up the little quarter inch flat brush 
and I'm going to go into some blue and a bit of the purple colour. So blue and purple and I'll get some white. So blue, purple and white. I'm going to add a bit more red in there so it goes more purpley. It's a bluey purpley colour it's going to be. Add a bit more white. Okay. I'm basically going to do um, like a horizon line. Uh, I'm not going to have it a hard horizon line, but the horizon line is going to be just sort of at the top here. So I'm just going to start from here. I'm just going to do a line. Run this line across. Something like that. So sort of straight-ish, you know, straight as you could go. Okay. I'm not going to go too mad. Take it out there a bit more. There we do. And then I'm just going to bring it down a little bit by holding the brush sideways and just flicking across on the side, taking it up here. But I'm gradually just going to pull it out across this way. I'm going to let this fade down so as I'm Going backwards and forwards, it's just going to get a little bit lighter. Just get a little bit of the colour over there in between the boat. Now you can put a, a little tape line if you wanted to get it perfect on there, but again, you don't need to worry too much. So I've got a lot of that colour. Then I'm going to go back to my other brush it's already got the pinky colour on and add some pink under there so we're going to go back into this pink colour get a bit more white oh it's pink and just bring this pink down underneath here about about an inch down and across the other side in between here I've got a little bit of colour in, in between there where the boat is and there's a um, a bit of wood sticking out that it's fixed to but I'm just going to put pink in there a little bit more colour a bit more dramatic from the side here right up there something like that I'll let it fade out a little bit okay so a bit pink so that matches the pink above and then I'm going to go back into my inch flat again and the same thing again but this time I'm just going to do it straight so I'm just going to brush straight across very lightly and then bring it down into the colour just across and I'm just brushing sideways across that's all I'm doing I'm just brushing sideways across and it's going into my picture a little bit but it's fine but I'm just coming down and brushing down and out to nothing so just sort of fading down then I'm going to come this side and hold it this side and come across this way, same thing again, come across, I'll take it right across that pole bit for a minute, just to get an idea, and then again you get a little bit of blue come down, taken into there, which is fine, you could even go sideways like this on the brush, and then just take a little bit of that blue just down there, I'll flick it from the side, just to get a little line of colour in there. Good. So, so then we're going to come down and we're going to put some blue in here and this uh, this part of, of it so hopefully it's looking at nice on the video so I'm going to go into the little half inch brush with, with this sort of bluey colour on there and I'm just going to get some white and add that to this colour so the same colours we'll use up there but I'm just adding white in there now And basically, I'm just same thing again. I'm just gonna pull this. I've left a little gap about an inch before I put the colour on. I'm just gonna pull this across here, pull it down to leave about an inch from the bottom of the canvas. Literally, I'm just going backwards and forwards very lightly, pushing very lightly backwards and forwards. Like so, 
literally just brushing backwards and forwards lightly. Taking it right up to the picture, white right line. And then I'm going to wipe the brush, squeeze it in a bit of tissue paper, and then I'm going to go into some more white. And I'm going to add that white, and then I'm just going to put that between the, the blue and the red. I'm just going to wipe that so it becomes a much lighter colour as I work upwards. So I'm going to wipe the brush again, get some more white, and then I'm going to take that in this part of the colour so it's a light, so it fades up a bit lighter. Okay, then I'm back into my one inch brush, squeeze it between a bit of tissue paper wiggle it around and then I'll start from the bottom and very lightly go backwards or forwards all the way across the whole, do it all nice and level straight, go back nice and level and straight and I'm going to take it right up Pushing very, very lightly as I meet the blue to the red. Across this side, do exactly the same. Very lightly. It's a very soft, uh, pastel y colour. I might add a little bit more colour on there. So I'm going to go into the blue and just put a bit more with the blue in here so it's a little bit darker down this part here add a little bit more blue to the colour across here like so and then I use my big one inch brush again just to blend it back just going back and forwards over this working up I'm going, to do, I'm going to keep going over this backwards or forwards blending so it's like near enough like pastely flat colour so it's like near enough flat hardly any colour on it at all um, hardly any lines in that because it's more like a, a sort of like glass finish and just by brushing backwards and forwards like this will make it become very very soft and so because it's nice and soft. So now I'm going to come into a little bit of dark down here, sort of a brownie sort of colour. So I'm going to use the, the little quarter of inch brush and we're going to get some of this burnt umber colour. And I'm just going to brush that, muddle that in here, just along this bottom part. A little bit just along the bottom edge here, take it up a bit higher, something like that. Up there. Just a little bit of colour, a little bit of dirty, muddy water. So, forwards, it's a very subtle colour, but it's in there. And then I'm going to use my big brush again. To go backwards and forwards just to soften that in there and if it blends too much like mine has I'm just going to go back in there with some more colour put the colour back in and then use the big brush and just go back in again and just backwards and forwards just to blend it back There we go, I think we've got a nice background done. Now up here I'm going to add a few light parts in there. So I'm going to get another quarter of an inch brush and I'm just going to go into a little bit of white, titanium white on its own. And I'm just going to pull that through here, just in a few spots. So I'll wipe my brush each time I do this. Just go straight into the white. Some light across here. Wipe the brush. Just 
I've got a few white spots. Backwards and forwards. Just add a little bit of a interest to the picture. A little bit more white. I put a little bit of white down there as well. Just to break it up a little bit. Like so. I go sideways across. Hopefully you can see this in the video. It's picking it up. It looks like it is, which is good. Okay, so I might just now straighten this edge up a little bit more with the blue. I'll get the blue colour. And I'm just going to straighten this a little bit more. Along. And then I'm just going to use this, the big brush again, very faintly. I'm just going to take it along that line. Like so. Brush it down. So, okay, so now we've got a nice straight line. I think we're going to start on the boat. So the first thing we're going to do is I think we'll do the this part, of this plank here, and we're going to do that. We we'll get the little quarter-inch brush, squeeze it in some tissue, and this is sort of a golden colour. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some of the uh, the brown here, umber and Van Dyke brown. And we're going to put those together. Add those two, mix those two colours together, and sort of give us a sort of nice sort of rustic colour. And we'll try that. We'll see how that comes out. And I'm literally, I'm just going to follow the lines of my sketch, which come down and round. Now, if you find this is too big. And what we can do, we can go to a little, the little round brush, go with the colour from there, or we could just colour it in using that, which might, you know, you might find is easier to do. And there, and then it actually. We've got a bit of dark area here, which we will add more black into this here, and then it actually comes down the other side. So we'll add that in. Like so. So we've got this part up and that part there. Okay. And then we've got a light area here. So I'm just going to wipe the brush. I think I use this little round brush because it's a nice easy brush to use. So it's going to be some white. I'm going to get some white. And it's got a slight little a pink tinge to it. So just a very, very smallest amount of pinky tinge to it. I'm going to take it up to the side here. So it comes from here. Just up the side there, literally. So I'm just literally going to touch the side there, up to there, so back into my colour. I might have to go back over this line in a minute, but it's fine. But mainly just want to get this colour in here. And I'll go put you some bit of black and go around the outsides of the black in a moment. But I just want to get that colour in there. And then I'm going to get the dark in the top part, so I'm just going to wipe the brush. Now the, the top bit, I got is a bluey, so we've got some of this dark bluey colour, and a little bit of black, so bluey black colour, which is in this whole area here. So I'm just going to fill this part in here with this colour. Of the 
boat. Filling this part in. It comes round. Sticks up the top there, like so. And just fill this part in, brushing it the way the keel goes. Like so, hopefully, you can see, get the idea. That's the back part of the boat. Lovely. I'm going, we're going to, I will highlight it with some black in a minute. I just want to get some of that dark in. Now there's a bit of this dark where it meets the water down here. So I'm just going to put some of this dark in there now, just so I know there's a bit of dark there going on. So that's the main thing. Okay, so now we've got a bit of colour. So I'm just going to wipe my brush again in a bit of tissue. I'm going to go into this little bit of the white. It's got a touch of blue in it, but I'm actually going to use that, spin it around just to get a bit of colour, and I'm just going to pull this down like so. And then I'm going to fill that in, get some more white, but it's more white, fill this panel in. Obviously, you know, white's not never, never pure white. It's always got a slight colour in bit. So I've just added a little bit of blue in there. Hopefully, it's going to be picking it up on the video. So that's your next part. And then down under there, we've got red. So we've got some red here. Underneath, so I'm just going to wipe this a bit of tissue again, and I'm going to go into the a little bit of the alizarin crimson and a little bit of the red hue, and I'm going to add those together, and then I'm going to take that in. Now you can put your finger there to rest it on there, which I tend to do. Get down. Like so. Again, you know, when you're at home, you've probably got lots of time to do this and can spend a lot more time, more time on it than me. Just a nice little tutorial for you just to show you how to do this little uh, boat. And if your, your colours don't go on there, if you just leave it for a little while and go back into your colour. So I'm going to do the, the colour on the other side here. So I'm just going to pull this colour up like so, like that. So you can see that it goes around the other side. Now, at the same time, underneath we've got uh, the shadow, which I'm going to put in now, um, of this, uh, which is the same colour but it's darker. So I'm going to use the alizarin crimson and a little bit of black. I'm going to put this colour in here, underneath, it's too much, so straight lizard and crimson I think, this bottom part here, okay. Like 
like so, and then put the other side of it. It goes up this way. Again, you can't see a lot of this, there's a, a rope coming down. So, just to give you an idea. And then we've got the reflection coming down underneath here. So, this part here is the reflection here. So, I'm going to do a slightly, um, again, muddled finish. So, I'm going to get some alizarin crimson, pull that down, and I'm going to get a little, a little bit of the Van Dyke brown and add that into it. Just to darken it down more. Like so. And then I'm going to put that underneath here. This is going to be the reflection in here. I'll take it around the other side. So, so it's a sort of a muddy uh, colour underneath. Come round like so. Keeping a sort of general shape, it will be distorted, but we're getting a general shape up there. Um, and then I'm going to use some lighter colour to compensate with the lighter part is there. But again, it's drawn out, so but I'm going to go for this colour here now, which was a sort of the more the pinky colour. Get a little bit of pinky colour. I add it into. I don't clean my brush. I'm just going to do a bit more here of the pinky colour. Just to take round here. Like so. And then the other side. Like that. Just you can see the idea of the reflections coming down off the boat here. And then we got some white. So I'm going to clean the brush. I'm going to go into the white. It's got a little bit of colour on there, just a little bit of colour. And I'm just going to take that from here because the white comes from about there. Okay, it's, it's got a little bit of colour. It does matter if you pick up a little bit of dark. I'm just going to take this from here, just a little line down. Some more white on this side, like so Put that piece underneath there. And then we've got the top bald bit here to put in. So we're going to go into this colour, which is the two, the brown, the Vanock brown here that we used before at the top. And I'm just going to bring this around here. Like so. Take it around. It's going to come around to here. And then around the other side, a very light line around the other side here. Put a bit more colour on. Hopefully you're enjoying this one guys, it's not too bad. A little bit fiddly with a little brush, but again you can use a little rigger brush. A little liner brush to do this. And it will help. Which is the main thing. Um, which is good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little, I'm going to use a liner brush. A little liner brush that's okay. I'm just going to go a little bit of thinner just to wipe it. And then I'm just going to use a bit of dark just to define it a bit more, just here and around there. So I'm just going to 
go into a little bit of just a bit of black but I'm just going to get some thin on there just to thin it down a little, just a little bit very thin point of the brush I just want to define a few little bits and pieces so I'm just going to go around the outside here by this top part very carefully just defining some of these parts just to break up a little bit more so I'm going to do the part of the front here bring this all the way around like so as you can see it's the front of the boat and I'm just going to do in between the colours just a little line like so just so it defines it a little bit more a little bit a few lines from this centre part here I'll just put them down this way just so you get the idea of the shape so hopefully that stands out a bit more I'm going to put a little bit more colour onto this as well so in there we've got across here we've got like a, a little line of going across there we'll see where they sit down like a some sort of plank or something so I'm just going to do the few lines going across there so it looks like there's a little plank or something in there and just do a little few doodles I call it just moving the brush around a little bit just inside of there so it looks like there's something going on inside the boat there okay, okay I'll wipe the brush again now with a liner brush I'm going to go back into this dark the Van Dyke Brown and the dark sienna I'm just going to spin this around. Yeah. I'm just going to really find this colour here. So I'm going to put this colour back in. It's a bit darker. And down the other side. And I'm going to use that colour just to. Run it down that line as well. Okay. And then I'm going to come under here and do the same thing. I'm just going to put in just a faint line of these colours. So it's going to fade off, so that's the main thing. Here at the top. And okay, so I'm going to do a little eye on the top of the boat here and get a little bit of black. Go and spin it around, make it thin. Which is a little circle, which is on the top here. which we're going we're gonna to tie the boat up with so I'm going to do a little line now coming down from here a faint line coming down down to there and I'm going to do a bit of rope here and then do another faint line coming across down to the water there so for that I'm going to do a, a big pole now I'm going to use the same black as an outline so I'm just going to use that Come up here, so it's going to be anchored up, and then it's going to be the reflection is going to be down into the wall here. So I'm just using that as a the black as an outline, and then I'm going to go back to flat brush, flat brush, 
with the browns but this one I'm going to go straight into the Van Dyke brown to start with and I'm just going to fill this in now I've got my guidelines I'm going to go right up to the guidelines and just pull straight down it doesn't matter if you're a little bit wobbly because it will add to the effect it'll look like a, you know, an old railway sleeper or something like that that's in the water here bring this right down and pull pull all downwards pull downwards okay so down here and as you come down here I'm just going to very lightly pull this down like so that will add as the reflection into the water okay so it makes sense and I'm just going to get a little bit of the light colour now I'm just going to pull some of this down I'm just going to add some of the light colour in here and there I'm just going to pull it straight down like so go in a little bit of white and just one straight down and it will add to the effect it will make it look more realistic so we've got these little bits put up there okay which is good now I'm going to put using a liner brush I'm just going to put a few numbers so make it wet and I'll use black spin it around you want to four or five drops of thinners so I want it like in very ink in consistency spin it around I'm just going to put a couple of numbers on there just a few digits though looks like numbers on there and then we're going to do the same into this underneath just to give it right there just bring this down this little line a bit more and then I'm going to bit more black I'm going to take it round so I'm going to come round like so I'm going to come round down like this so as if the ropes come round down here and then I'm going to do a little knot and then I'm going to loop this round like that so like that so it just looks a bit more realistic okay I'm just going to put a little bit dark underneath this line here. And that one. So it stands out a bit more. Okay. Add a little bit more. A few little dark bits in here. Okay. And then I'm just going to get my. One off each, one each flat brush, and I'm just very, very lightly. I'm just going to pull this down very, very softly. Pull this down, and then go across very, very softly. Like so. there we go. And there we are, guys. A simple little boat. A reflection and a little bit of wood coming out there nice simple sky but it's a nice really easy picture for you to do and I hope it's picking it up on the video again it wasn't that hard and give it a go send the pictures in to me at mark at paintwithmark.co.uk I'd love to see um, you know what your students are doing and, and how you're getting on with these pictures so that's Mark with Paint with Mark and before you go don't forget to like subscribe and Share these things and share this around, you know, see if anyone else wants to do this picture. So, Smart Terrell signing off and I'll see you soon, guys.